Okay, so I'll find my purple angle over here first. Um, so its formula would be inverse cosine of, well, I really need to see that picture. 76 squared plus 115 squared. minus 92 squared. You might want to label those sides A, B, and C. That might help you keep up with how they get plugged into the formula. Divided by 2 times 76 times 115. Okay, I'm making sure I have parentheses around my numerator, parentheses around my denominator. My calculator is in degree mode, so hitting enter here should give me that angle. 52.929 okay and then for the other angle at the front edge with the other boundary um, it would almost be the same thing so I'll hit second enter to pull that up but from that side Uh, 76 is its opposite side. So this should be a 92. This should be a 76. And this should be a 92. Again, if you're having trouble seeing where these things get plugged in and how I know that, give your, I mean, you can make it a little easier in yourself if you just call them A, B, C, and then you can use the formula and think of it as a, B, and C. Remember, side A always has to be opposite angle A, side B has to be opposite angle B, etc. Okay, and then that one should be 41.233. Now, I don't have all the information, and I'm really not too interested in finding more information than I have to. But just comparing these two, angle A should be smaller than angle C because side A is smaller than side C. So the fact that this is less than this um, is a good sign to me. It makes me think that that's probably fine. Also, I can see that this is a, well, this is the biggest side. I said I didn't want to find any more information than I had to, but I guess finding the third angle is not too hard if you just do the 180 trick. subtract those. This angle is 80, almost 86 degrees, so that makes sense with its opposite side being the biggest side. Okay, did that push you past where you were stuck?